becoming gradually more and more tech savvy with these things. Um, with luck, by next week, uh, we'll be able to actually go live on YouTube and actually have the video, uh, the, the, the rehearsal happening live. So again, anybody who's not here can actually join Bel Canto as we are singing, which will be very clever. Um, that's an, it's a, an experiment just to see how easy going live on YouTube from the camera is, because it may be necessary for conscious. Anyway, so people watching the video, welcome to St. Margaret's Church in Swinton uh, for this evening's rehearsal with Bell Canto Choir. And just as a gentle warm up, can we start with the Mozart Ave Verum, which you will find on page 172. Stand up. One lovely thing I've noticed with singers being spaced out is they chat to each other a lot less. So rehearsals. I can't remember what the lady's called it with that. Is this the new normal though? Yeah. Do you want to move that way a bit and then I can see you more easily? Hey, perfect. It is the new normal. Here we go. Thank you very much. Have a seat. I thought it was really nice. Um, top of page 173. Uh, soprano is good, solid. In uh, whatever the words. And then everyone else, when you come in the alto, tenor, and bass, a really good together start with quite a lot of um, glottal going on on that in crew. Um, to make sure that's a really good entry. So can we just lead into that from Verle Passum at the bottom of 172? Verle. 
nice crescendo and then that big climax really together. Oh, <coughs> sorry, and the other thing is the end of Immolatum. Nice full minimum from ATB there. So from very passum. Two, three, four. Very good, lovely, yeah, really nice together start. And then we do the same thing at the top of 175. Um, so you might or might not have crossed out that piano, editorial piano, and written a forte, because I think the same thing happens with that. In more. That bit. No idea what this piano is going to sound like on that video as it's sitting on it. It might be very loud there. So can we just do that moment? Uh, Let's just go straight in actually, where the sopranos do that, in, and then everybody else. And one, two. Okay. Let's see if we get that abs absolutely spot on together. Um, and use the nut and the mut. In ma. And that helps open it out. Just once again, the same place. One, two. Lovely, thank you. Everyone happy with that one? Really, really nice, good. Okay, whilst we're um, playing around with that text, can you find page 67? So another setting of the Ave Verum text, uh, this one by Edward Elgar. Anybody think they might know this one? No. Good. Uh, it's a beautiful, simple little thing. Uh, so very strophic, as in verses. So the sopranos sing a tune, then we all sing the same tune in harmony. Sopranos sing a tune, then we all do harmonies underneath it. Um, I think altos will get you to join in with the sopranos, certainly to start with. Uh, so you're not sitting there not doing anything for too long. Um, let's have a sight read, see what happens. So it's... Ave verum corpus natum, etc. See how you get on. One, two, three, four.
pretty good first go through. It's a nice, it's a cute little piece. It's really quite fun. Elgar does know how to write a tune, and he's not bad with the old bit of harmony as well. Um, uh, okay, let's learn that then. Uh, so we'll just look at the last page first. <clears throat> Altos, you kind of bottled out over your OPA. So this one's our plan and yes, straight in. And then I think the notes of the next bit are straightforward. Can I just do alto, tenor and bass? Um, tenors, which tenor part does each of you sing? You're doing the top one and Peter the second one, lovely. Um, so when you get to Fili Maria, Maria, and you end up on top of the altos there as they give us that lovely seven going down. So just for a second, just alto, tenor and bass from Oh Dulcis, the last crotch of the top line. One, two, three. Just think of it as going down to a first inversion and it'll be fine. <laughs> um, uh, so the tenor line. I think you might have been on a B at the end, right up to that D. And the F sharp resolving back up there. Sopranos, let's just do your Fili Maria. At the end, one, two. and then you just sit on that forever. Uh, let's do that last page then. Oh, yes, breathing. Um, when you all come together, oh, dulcis, yes. If you, if you use the sit and the jut to just get a tiny gap in there, but don't actually breathe, but then have a breath after yesu. Dulcis, yes. Feel, and it'll be a big one. <clears throat> so from the soprano and alto, can you just take a tiny bit off your Clemens uh, soprano and tenor there? Clemens, oh. So it just clears it before the altos and basses start. So straighten up Hugh Lento on that page. One, two, and. Quite a lot of that scene actual there altos. It's a groovy little note. It's the notes you'd normally hear the tenors doing. But he's put the tenor on the D, which was lovely, thank you very much. Very nice. Uh, so that's that page. Just be really careful when you sing. Oh dulcis, you don't go, oh Um uh, page 69. Uh, whatever br uh, breathing we put in here was apply sopranos to your bottom of 68 as well. So, cuius latum, ronchi cuius latus, perforatum. Have a breath. Vero fluxit sanguine. And notice he's got a crescendo going all the way through that. And a nice R on your sanguine. Then a massive forte on esto nobis pregus artum. Breath, mortis in examine. Altos, you've got an interesting little moment there where you have a, a different rhythm from everybody else. Esto nobis pregus artum, mortis in. So 
So if you can make your tum as long as you can, and then a breath, and then your mortis comes through there. Let's just hear the altos if you would. Esto no. One, two. Super. Tenor and bass, just through that little bit. Bass, esto, tenors. Bottom of 69, two, three, four. Easy. Everyone, esto nobis. Two, one, and. That's it. Good. Um, and the top of that page is just unison, so that's really easy. So down to the bottom of page one, or 67, the first page. Can we just have alto, tenor and bass for a second from Ave Verum. Again, I think two bars to a breath. Ave Verum corpus natum breath. Ex Maria Virgine breath, veritas umimolatum breath in cruce pro omne. So alto tenor and bass, bottom of 67. Lots of chromaticism for the altos. Two, three, four. Happy tenors? Would you, um. Ave Baron Corpus Natum ex Maria Virgine, Vere Pasum Imolatum in Cruce Pro Amine, Amine rather. Let's do that once again, same people. Tenor, alto and bass. Two, three, Sopranos on top as well, please. Oops. Two, one, ah. Not quite. <laughs> so again, bass, tenor. So bottom of page 67, uh, where we all start the Ave Verum together. Very good. Uh, straight in the top of 69, where we all do the coolest together, and we'll go through to the end one more time. 
questions? Nope. Lovely. Um, on to, please, page 105. We had a sing through this last week, I think. Or the week before. Was it last week or the week before? Not last week, the week before last. The last week we were here together. There'll be some bits of pronunciation sort out in this, but um, let's go straight in where it starts. I must check that the clip I've posted is actually this arrangement. I think it is. Well, I need to check that, yeah. Uh, sopranos presumably you all know the tune. <laughs> Bass, tenor, alto. Sopranos of that. Two, three, four. corners of that, isn't there? <laughs> so the first page, I think, was relatively uncontroversial. Uh, top of page 106, altos, it's just, oh, you were a bit surprised by having some extra notes at the end of the line. So, dat panis celicus figuris terminum, um, rather, um, we just go straight to the figuris. One, two, three. That's it. Um, we'll do that once again. This time I'll play all the right notes. But you were right, so be nice and confident. Figu, two, three. Two, three. Nice breath before we start there. Um, and the bass part, good is terminum. I think it's straightforward enough. Can we all go from dat panis? At the top of that page, two, three, four. Oh, 
all happy? Enjoy that bit, altos. Yeah, be, be nice and common as that comes through. Um, next phrase. Uh, oh, res mirabilis is okay. Then altos and tenors start having B sharps, which always make you a bit nervous, I think. Undo. Can you sing me that? The man do cats dominum. So bottom of 106. Tenor, alto. One, two. With the bass underneath. One, two. And then with the sopranos on top as well. And we do get this really odd chord on Do, which then resolves. It's just a little bit suspect that, but there we go. Um, so once you've got to their altos, Domino. Tenor and bass parts go a bit weirder. So after Let's try everyone from the Manducant Dominum we got to. Yeah, I really don't approve that, but there we go. Two, three, and. Uh, just sopranos and altos from the pow pairs, because uh, there's something I just wanted to show you. But the easiest way just by getting to sing it. Alto, soprano, top of 107. One, two. <laughs> that one. So that is right. You are on next door notes there at that point. Uh, so don't worry if it sounds just a little bit weird to your ears. Uh, okay, over the page. Oh, we've got halfway through already. What on earth are you doing at the top of page 109 basses? That looks very weird. Are you jelly because the gore is turning? So the basses start off in canon, and then start doing something. Uh, then the tenors take over the canon on page 109. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Tenor, ponies and gel, ponies and gel. Sopranos on the tune, two, three, four.
Well done. We've got a typo, haven't we? Mm -hmm. I'm at the end there. On the top line, it should be power out there. And then the say is a tired note. Oh, yes. Oh, your say is a beat early, isn't it? Sorry, what did you say? The, the say should be yeah. at the same time as the altos. Yeah, yeah exactly that. Yeah. Mm. And your pair are, yes, so the pair and the set are both late, early. Mm. So, who edited this book? Who do we have to write to? Mm, doesn't say. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go back to page 108. Um, and we'll first of all just do soprano alto tenor um, <clears throat> for the first couple of systems, but I think that is relatively straightforward. So ignoring the basses or not letting the basses sing for a moment, so we just get the harmony bit. Two, three, four. Jump down to the A tenors is uh, annoying. Watch out for that one. Uh, soprano and tenor, beginning of 109. Two, three, four. Alto and tenor. Yeah. <laughs> alto and tenor, same place. Da 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 di, da 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 di tom. Really common about that. Alto tenor, chelicus, one, two. <laughs> and can we put the bass under that as well? So exactly the same place. Three, four. And then can we carry on with soprano alto bass at the bottom of page 109? Oh, mirabilis. Two, three, four. So I want to run through the top of page 110 for you. And then we'll keep reading on to the next line as well, because there's a really, really, really... It's wrong. It has to be wrong. That G natural has to be wrong, surely. G natural's rubbish. No idea what's occurred. Can somebody Google Kenneth Downing? Yeah. Send him emails. Get your proofreading sorted, mate. 
Um, so altos at the beginning of one one oh two three four. think about it and we're all there can you all mark a gap between those two servuses because there should be a comma there because it's a repeated word so we get servus servus et humilis um, tenors servus et G naturals on the brain now. So second bar of one one O tenors, and we'll take you through the next line as well. Two, three, four. Couple of servuses. Servus, servus et tu. Um, the bass line of that last line is easy enough. So, can we do tenor and bass from bar 53? Tenor, sorry, bass, tenor. Two, three, four. Altos on top of that. So it's the from bar fifty three with everyone. Three, four. That's really nice, really, really nice. Um, Sopranos, let's just have you doing that, that line as much as anything, just for timing this breath after your two quavers on your voice. Servus, servus. So from your two, three, four. the top of page 108, please. Can I just ask about bar 53? Yes, what are you going to ask? Well, I don't know. I just... But I don't understand how you sing the servus because it's two notes. Okay, oh, sorry, we did that before. So the pair and the ser are both printed in note early. Right, okay. So the pair should be under the first C. And then the sair under the second C that then is tied across. Yeah, that's what's gone wrong there. Da, 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 da. Okay, beginning of page one hundred eight. Tenor to oh tenors, when you got the tune at the bottom of one hundred nine, really enjoy it. Da, da, dee, da, da, da. Yeah, da, 
two, three, and. Thank you. Um, okay, um, another one we've read through but we haven't actually learnt anything of uh, is page 62. I had quite a good uh, side read through this the other day. Remind me who knows this from before? A few, a few. Okay, we'll have a, a certainly a read through the sort of first couple of pages, see if we can get halfway through, um, and then we'll um, look at some notes. It's a very, um, it's one of these little pieces that people who know a lot of church music all know. So it's one of those pieces occasionally when you get a group of singers. Um, somewhere nice they'll just sort of suddenly burst into locus this day for no apparent reason often to check acoustics um and i've had this happen a few times and it goes really well and then people sort of forget or are too drunk and it all goes horribly wrong but most most quite seem to manage the sort of first couple of phrases so sort of, sort of on a choir tour you find yourself suddenly in a beautiful station and there's an acoustic and they go oh look at this thing god no um but here we go. So the, the a basic translation is, is, this place is made for God. It is without reproach. So it's a very suitable little piece of sort of singing. When you're new in any church building, it works really nicely. Here we go. Two, three, four.
Well done. Um, a couple of little bits of breathing, or not breathing, certainly not before the last chord. You all know that, you're just doing that to see what you could get away with, like slightly naughty children stealing a fun-sized Mars bar out of the fridge. At the bottom of page 65, um, it's worth marking a breath there, because uh, we all get a breath between that day, because you imagine it's going on to the word far, um, but it doesn't. So if you mark a breath at the end of that line, and then there's a new start at the beginning of page 66 when we're all together. Um, bases. Um, at the bottom of page 65, uh, uh, no breath there. So, yes, yeah, so that rising octave is beautiful if you in legato. Then we'll give you lots of time to breathe before the next Ardeo. So everyone will be aware of that. So we'll all clear that. And again, just a little bit of a delay before your next Deo. So they become sort of um, nicely punctuated. Um, and as you did at the top of the page, 65 there as well, basically going through your locus iste adeo obsessed. Um, can we just look at the top of page 66 first? Um. <coughs> That's the way those little chromaticisms work in the altos. So everyone just straight into the beginning of page 66. Bass, tenor, alto, soprano, two, three, and. Good, and notice that little crescendo there. And then you remember those notes after a long rest and you come in. A day of breath, and then through to the end. And it's interesting in this, Bruckner's given us a few dynamic markings here and there, but not many. And he's given no row at the end. It's quite interesting, it's, it's quite a sort of understated little ending. Um, so from that, our day of the end of top of 66. And then a nice breath. It looks a lot longer than it is as well, the way the music spread out. Three, two, one. Can you sing me Ktus Est with only one S on the, at the end of the, so let's use the canes. Tus est. Just start with tus. And one, two. That's it. It's quite tricky when there's a set and then an air. Because sometimes you want to go tus est and put a little block on it. Tus est. Sounds like tus est. Rather far to est. So somehow there has to be a, a way of doing it that keeps the S late. Um, how are we doing for time? Uh, let's just look at the middle bit on page 64. Um, this is, the, this is the trickiest bit in a way, but actually you did this really nicely on the whole. So once the tenors have got used to going Probably no H. And So we keep nice bright sounds. So the tenors come in there, then alto soprano and then just continues this chromaticism and then over that bar where he's marked well he's god this is another weird bit of editing 
PP crescendo to P, and then suddenly mezzo forte. Crescendo through that ere pre, where it gets the mezzo forte. So we'll go from that point and see if we can get through uh, to the end. So, tenor's leading us off. Two, three, four. Okay, um, that was a bit pre-hen. Um, a pre-hen, I presume, is an egg, and then we get over to the, the argument of which is actually coming first. Um, so a nice et sound. Two, three, four. Thank you very much. What a lovely way to finish the rehearsal. Super stuff. Thank you very much. Um, so, with luck, you'll get an email in the next couple of days uh, with a list of all we've done so far, uh, the YouTube links, and a link to tonight's rehearsal. So you can watch it back and think, oh, that was really good. Oh, I need to do better with that. And all the people uh, who can't be here will also be able to join in with us. So, um, I shall bid you good night. Remember, masks on. No mingling on the way out. Stay safe, everyone. Don't be contacts. Just time to get a quick pint, I think, before the pub's shut. And with luck, see you all again next week.